interrupt this video before I get on with my hair. If anyone th that thinks that I don't have sensitive skin, look, look at my face. I thought I would do what everyone else does, you know, in these videos they always put bentonite, the bentonite clay mixture on their face as a face mask. And I did think to myself, mm, you know, I have excellent prone skin, very dry, very sensitive. I thought, Mm, it might be a bit too strong for me, but I thought I would try it since I do love it and it works fine with my hair. I don't get an itchy scalp or anything. But look, look at my face. Red, red, which is weird because it doesn't feel itchy or anything. Um, and it doesn't look like it's swollen, but literally you can see exactly where I put that face mask so if you are trying out bentonite clay for the first time or you want to try it on your face I highly suggest you don't do what I did do a test patch um, and see how you get on don't slather it all over your poor little face um, but I thought I would say that before I continue this video and you see my red raw face when I'm washing my hair yeah, at least until the fog is clear you guys can watch it because this has become a two-in-one video. I applied a yogurt mask to my face and that has really soothed it and calmed it down, but there's still a lot of redness around my cheek area. <laughs> but let's continue with the hair video. a couple of days later but it's still super super soft and light and fluffy but has maintained its definition if you've been following along with my Instagram stories I haven't actually retwisted my hair at all I've just put a giant bonnet on my head and then fluffed it up in the morning and I'm super surprised because it's been snowing here and yet I've managed to maintain a lot of the definition and moisture to my hair I just um, 
pretend I've got type 3 hair and I scrunch a little bit of um, conditioner and oil into my ends and that's all I do. So yeah, nice and fluffy, lots of movement, that is how I care for my hair in winter.